everybody, my name is Chelsea Nevy and today I'm going to be talking about MD-PhD themed research programs and why I think they're a great idea for anybody considering MD-PhD programs. Stay tuned! Okay, so I got into an MD-PhD themed research program for the summer of my junior year. The first summer research internship program, that's a mouthful, the first summer research internship that I did was a general research internship that was at UCLA. And the second summer research internship that I did was an MD PhD themed internship at Dartmouth. I think that if you're interested in MD PhD programs, or if you're like, okay, if you know that's what you want to do, then you should definitely apply for these programs. Even if you're not sure that that's what you want to do, and you're just kind of curious, I still urge you to apply to these programs because they're so informative, they're so helpful, they help you see what it's like. So when I did it, I was like, it was me and three other people, right? One of us <laughs> wasn't sure that that's what, that's what they wanted to do with their life, but the, the rest of us were pretty sure. And after the program, he actually realized that he didn't want to do it anymore. And so I think that this program, if you're not sure, it can save you the hassle of like applying and then like potentially not getting in or getting in and then later dropping out. So I, I totally urge and encourage you guys to like try these programs if you're interested, even if you're just interested in becoming like a physician scientist and you don't really want to do the PhD. Okay, well, I don't know. If you don't want to do the PhD, then maybe you shouldn't do this. But if, you, if you're thinking about going through the MD PhD program, route of becoming a physician scientist, I, can, I totally urge you to do this. So, during the MD-PhD research, pro research program, oh, I can't speak today. I can't do it. Okay, so the one that I did was called MPIS MD PhD Undergraduate Summer Fellowship. <laughs> I don't know why they added. Well, I guess you have to add the, the fellowship part. But it's called MPIS, and it was really cool because we really got to know the MD PhD students at Dartmouth. They were really cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness. If anybody knows anything about Molly Molly's like bread, Molly's is a restaurant near Dartmouth. It was really really great. And also the Irish pub that we went to. I forget the name of it. Maybe, was that the one called? I don't think it's called Molly's, but there's some Irish pub that we went to that was also really cool. Yeah, that's off topic. Anywho, we got to, we got to like get to know more about like the students, which was cool because like, you know, you get to hear about like their experiences applying, you know, how they got to where they are now and all this stuff. And I think that when you're still an undergraduate student, you may look at MD, PhD students like, I mean, that's how I was, so like, I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's just really cool to like, you know, hear from their personal experience, like when did they submit? Like what, what type of stats did they apply with, you know? Sometimes seeing like the national average, I think the national average of stats is quite misleading because, you know, if you're not looking to go to a top tier school, then you don't need aggressive stats. And then if you are looking to go to a top tier school, then the national average may mislead you. On the other hand, looking at a specific program stats, you know, if you see the mean be, if the mean, for example, is 520, then you may think, oh my goodness, I need a 520 or above to get in. But you forget that like, for the mean to be 520, somebody lower than a 520 had to get in. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anywho, it was really nice to get to talk to the students and like see what their life was like and the advice that they give or that they would give. Their advice definitely helped me. I happened to work under a physician scientist. So the structure of the program was a lot like a regular research program like my days were full-time research most of the time except one day out of the week I shadowed a physician or a surgeon I ended up shadowing a surgeon but I it wasn't required to be in a physician scientist lab but I ended up doing that just by accident I was in the lab of a woman who was doing really cool research really really cool research and she she just had an MD you know what I mean like she didn't have a PhD at all and she ran her own lab and it was a legit lab like I'm telling you it was it was just so fun and the cool part about it was that like a lot of the people who showed up for our journal clubs were other doctors in fact a lot of the people who presented at our journal clubs were other doctors so that was really really cool great experience all around I shadowed a lot of people partly because it was a requirement partly because I just was asked if I wanted you know to shadow them and I was like yeah 
Uh, so I shadowed a neurosurgeon, a pediatric neurosurgeon, a gastroenterologist, a specialist in internal medicine, and a neurologist. Yeah, all of it was really, really cool, really insightful. I'm seeing the different aspects of medicine, you know, all the different things that you could do. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... I love it, please. Oh, so where can you find these types of programs? If you're looking for a summer internship in general, I should, probably should have put this on my like research video, whatever. Uh, if you're looking for a summer internship in general, all you have to do is go on Google and search undergraduate summer research program in some form or order. You could do summer undergraduate research program as well. And probably the first or second link that comes up is a list cultivated by AMC of all the summer undergraduate research programs offered across the country. And they're usually actually, they usually are called SURF or SERP. So Summer Undergraduate Research Program or Fellowship. And for MD-PhD themed programs, you can actually search MD-PhD Summer Undergraduate Research Programs and there's a separate list for MD-PhD themed programs. Now from what I've seen from that list, a lot of them are specifically MD-PhD themed and that's how they brand themselves. But some of them are just like biomedical research themed and I, I just personally think that, you know, it's just better to do the MD PhD themed ones because they really groom you for MD PhD life. Not only in terms of like, for example, in the one that I did with the with the Dartmouth one, we actually had like a meeting with the program director to talk about like how to get into programs, which I think was really really helpful. I was so nervous because I was just like, oh my goodness, this is like my interview for Dartmouth, and I'm all like, I'm just a bag of too much. Like I'm just a bag of too much. So yeah, but it was really it was really nice to like talk to. I talked to the program director. I also talk to the admissions one one of the guys who's on the admissions like committee it was just really really helpful and what else yeah so like during my time there since I got to shadow a lot of like physicians who knew I was interested in like physician scientist life I definitely asked them and evaluated their lifestyle in the context of like can you be a, a, a scientist or can, do you have the option to do research and you know it's tough it's not easy even if you're in an academic institution it's not easy to fit research into your life and that's something you have to be aware of so like yeah, I don't know. I think that I, I came into it thinking, I didn't know much about research life, but I thought like, oh, it's probably so easy to become a professor. No, I woke up fast. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not easy. So, for example, as I mentioned, I shadowed a pediatric neurosurgeon. He was the only, I feel like I already mentioned this. I feel like I already mentioned this. Whatever. If I did, maybe I'll cut it out. Um, but he was the only pediatric neurosurgeon in all of Vermont and all of New Hampshire, which is the bordering I, I'm pretty sure I already mentioned this. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna I'm just gonna glide over it. Uh, maybe I mentioned it in a different video, but like I think I did mention it in a different video. Okay, I'm sorry guys. Okay, he was the only pediatric neurosurgeon in Vermont and New Hampshire. They're bordering states. Dartmouth is in New Hampshire, if you didn't know, and uh, so he can't be a physician scientist. He doesn't have the time. Even still, the internal medicine doctor that I shadowed, and I think the gastroenterologist, they were MD PhD people. One went the traditional route of going through an MD PhD program. The other one got his MD and PhD separately. I think he got his PhD first. I think I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. But you know, as it turns out, he doesn't have time for it anymore. And well, the gastroenterologist was the program director so I guess he's like still in the MD PhD life but I think the internal medicine didn't have the internal medicine doctor didn't have time for it anymore even though his research career was really really cool when it began and so that's the reality of the of the situation as well like things don't always work out as planned and I think that just being the MD PhD themed research program really exposed me to a lot of that like where do MD PhDs end up you know where could they end up you know of course the dream for most people is to become a full-time professor who does like an 80 20 split of research but it's not always the reality and I don't mean that to discourage you guys I like to be a realistic kind of person and so that's just something to think about yeah so I think that's all that I have for today I don't like these videos getting too long I respect your time I respect your time I know you're busy little students just drilling away at school. <laughs> Anywho, comment below and tell me what summer programs you guys are planning on applying to this year, or I don't know when this is gonna get uploaded. I think by the time it's uploaded, it's already the summer, but then again, I don't know when you're gonna watch it. So like, if you're in a summer program right now, tell me which one you're at, tell me which MD PhD programs or themed summer internships that you're interested in. I feel like I just said that. <sighs> Okay, also like the video if you like the video. And 
what do you do? Subscribe. Oh my goodness, this is too much. I know, like so many instructions for you guys. I'm sorry, you don't have to do everything. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Share it if you want to share it. Comment if you want to comment. Like it if you want to like it. And ask me questions on Twitter if you want me to answer them. I'm not an expert on the subject, but I think I know a little something. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna go now. Bye.